Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our English. We want to improve our vocabulary. Today is our day number 49. Day number 49. The very first word we have today is Reprieve. Reprieve. What does it mean? It just means reprieve is a temporary suspension of punishment. Now listen, before I go any further, I do realize that I just told you that this is a verb and then I start out the meaning with an article, oh, which makes it a noun. It's okay. We don't have to be so, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of right now. Anyway, we don't have to be so picky, okay? A temporary suspension of punishment. Or perhaps it is a noun. Reprieve is a noun. Of course. These are the things I should check ahead of time. Just sort of standing here. And anyway. It's a verb it tells me. But I give you the meaning as a noun. But as I said, don't worry about it. It's a temporary... temporary relief from punishment. It means to postpone punishment, reprieve. Sometimes it just means to post postpone the punishment. Whatever the punishment is going to be has not been taken away, it has not been removed. It has just been postponed. Typically one hears this word reprieve uh, in the context of a person being on a death row and they were supposed to be executed at uh, midnight tonight but the punishment, but they have received a reprieve from the governor. They have received a reprieve uh, which means they're gonna, the, the execution will take place a month from now or a week from now or two days from now. Such an event is called a reprieve because it is, uh, it is not a removal of the punishment person is still going to be executed but it has been postponed for, for a while it has been put off to put off a punishment of somebody is to reprieve is to reprieve it is a word Voila. that's it let's learn one more word so the word was reprieve as always I need the room so I need to raise it or perhaps I can put it here I had this chart always on the blackboard, and I don't know why I forgot in the last three videos, which gives you the key to the pronunciation in case you need to look at it. What I do not know is how you're going to go about looking at it. You're going to have to enlarge the image or somehow if you're interested. The word, the next word is Reprimand. Reprimand. Notice it's rep -ro, not re. Reprimand. What does it mean to reprimand? 
it means to to scold in a formal manner to rebuke re to rebuke to Sensor. We will learn this word in a second. It means to criticize. Criticize. Should not have tried to put the word in that corner there, which is what slows me down and I find it awkward. I should have stuck with my habit, which is to erase it and then put a new word. Anyway, the word is reprimand. Reprimand means to rebuke somebody, to scold somebody, to censor, censor somebody, to criticize somebody, but in a formal manner. A reprimand is something uh, that happens in a formal setting. For example, if you did something bad at your job, sometimes policemen or government, uh, government employees, they're, 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 they're rarely lose their job and it, they're, they're most of the time reprimanded, which means it's a formal rebuke they scold it in a formal way on a piece of you know on a, on, a, on a regular form they have to fill out a certain form and it goes in your permanent file in your permanent personnel file that anybody can refer to years from now it becomes part of your permanent record and that scolding that they get for doing whatever it is that they have done is called a reprimand a scolding it's a rebuke it's a censor it's a it's a criticism just learn this word sensor over here they're all related that's why I'm doing them together well they're not related actually reprieve, reprieve was an entirely different word sort of related a bit of help because it has to do with the punishment this is how it's pronounced sensor which is an official review. It's not just something your boss calls you in his office and, and tells you off. It's an official one. It, uh, records are kept and file uh, forms are filled out and put in a permanent file. It's an official review. It means a disapproval. It means to criticize severely to blame so that's the nuance of the word criticize and rebuke it's a matter of degree to criticize somebody is one thing but to criticize them harshly severely is to censor them that was it. That was the end for today. I hope you found it helpful. If you wish to get hold of me, for any of these tests that you see there, I provide personal private tutoring for GRE, GMAT, SAT and TOEFL. If you are preparing for any of those tests and you need help in your preparation, go to any of these website addresses that you see here and send me an email from there. Or you can simply go to peshwaniprep.com and send me an email from there and you will get hold of me. All right? And I'll do whatever it is that I can to help you in your preparation. Thank you.